explain more about uh, the effect of color management okay. now things to remember if you're doing uh, a graphics for the web okay your color management here if you click on color management here and a dialog box will show up okay make sure in the settings here put it to optimize for the web and click OK you notice that the blue is different now and if you go to your the scroll bar here with all the colors the blue became different okay that's because when you're working in uh, uh, you know graphics for the web you're not really talking about CMYK you're not printing it but you're just uh, making graphics for the monitor for the uh, browser so that's the thing that you have to remember when you're printing stuff like say for example I want this to be printed on a uh, you know on a poster okay make sure you go to tools click on color management and check there are two things that you have to to do there uh, I mean if you're doing it for desktop printing which is you know those uh, portable printers not large format uh, printer those inkjet printers so click on desktop printing if I click on this let's see if the blue becomes different and then I'll click OK so optimize for desktop printing and let's see there notice the blue change it's not that bright blue anymore so so those are the things that you have to remember and also if you notice let's go into the picture here okay I'm looking my color settings now is I'll just zoom in more my color setting now is let me check is uh, output for desktop uh, printer right color management okay now if I change it to optimize for the web see it changes right away to RGB because RGB is for the monitor and not for printing and CMYK is for printing and I'll click OK here I don't know if you've noticed anything but if you click on uh, optimize for the web the colors would be richer it means to say it's good for the monitor it's good for viewing for the internet okay because what Corel does Corel doesn't fool the you know the graphics people that okay I'm gonna print this one so the printer would print, print exactly the same as this one no actually it's not there's no software or printer here that can match what will you see in the monitor so it's really off okay so that's why Corel has this cost uh, color management so if you're just make sure if uh, if you're doing posters for printing make sure you click on this these two options here I mean any of these two options could be optimize for desktop printing you know your portable printer or that optimize for professional output if you're gonna send the file to a printer so if, if I click on professional output and then click OK see the color mode changes instead of RGB which is the web it goes to CMYK because C is for cyan M magenta Y is for yellow and K is for black and then click OK and if you notice the the picture now would not be as rich as the one for the web because this one just shows that you know when it's printed it's it's going to be like this it's not going to be really rich and rich in color okay. now uh, let's go back here so my mode now is in uh, output for professional uh, color for professional output so I'm giving this to a printer so use that uh, the color and you notice here in the slider it has real a real color like real life colors not not like bright blue or things like that now a uh, thing to remember to this this is also handy this uh, if you click on this icon here it expands all the colors right so you can pick colors here and another technique too if you press any of the swatches say for example I want this okay this orange one if I press that for two seconds and you'll show you'll see there are more options in here more colors in here 
so I can just click on that color okay Let, let's make a box first I'm gonna make a box like that okay I'm gonna put a fill on that so for the orange I okay I'm gonna expand this one expand and then say I'm gonna choose this one autumn orange I'll press it for two seconds then I have some then you can choose any color from that so this means to say these are the related colors I click there there you go now of course there's also another option where to go to to pick a color is you go to your fill color here fill tool so the first one is fill color dialog so click on that and this one will show up now since I'm doing for professional output or for printing not for the web this one becomes uh, the model becomes CMYK which is C for cyan M for magenta uh, Y is for uh, yellow and K is for black now these numbers are percentage like 2% of cyan 50% of magenta 69 of yellow and K for for black now if I want to make it darker so I'm gonna add I'm going to add some black on it so I'm going, if I'm gonna put five here okay, and I'll click I click somewhere there okay see this is my old color and this is my new color now okay I'll make it 10% click See, that's my new color and this is my old color. So you can adjust your, co your color in here. Or what you can do, see this box here? You can click and drag it wherever you want to go. Okay. See the new color here? It changes. And the values changes here too. And then you click OK. Then it changes. Now, of course, when you want to do fill, a fill that has gradient, you go to this uh, fill dialog box and you go to the second one, which is fountain fill. And then for the fountain fill, you have an option to do linear, radial, okay? So you've got a small preview there, conical, square. Okay, if I'm going to linear here, I also have an option to change the angle. See, if I make this 90 degrees, the gradient goes up, okay? If I go minus 90 degrees, it goes down. Or you click inside this square, and then you click and drag, okay? Click and hold hold it and drag. Then you can change the, the angle of the, of the fountain fill. And you can just click OK. See, the fountain fill changed. Now you can also customize the fountain fill if you want. Okay, I'm going to click on this object and go to my fountain fill dialog box and I'm going to have this here. If I click on custom here, now I have this this uh, this uh, swatch here. It means to say, okay, I have this brown, light brown going to white and here's my preview. I'll just make this zero. Okay. So that's the angle, okay, zero angle. Okay, now if I click here, double click, okay, and double click here too, and another here too, I have an option to color one triangle. So for example here, I click on that, and it becomes black. So it means to say, that's the active color. I can change it to say orange. Click on this triangle, okay, make it blue. And see this one, you have a preview of what you're getting. Click on this, let's say I make it white. Okay, then you can also adjust it by clicking on it and you can move it left to right. Okay, and if I'm happy with that, I just click OK. And there you have your fill. Now they also, have, Corel Draw has also have a preset. If you click on this preset here, you're going to see lots of preset. You know, you can you can experiment on all those fills, all those gradate, gradating fills. So if I want to make it gold plated, see you got gold plated there, and I click OK. There's my gold plated 